in this video, I'm breaking down how I color graded both the clips you just saw in the intro using my own RE conversion LUT that you can download for free. Link in the description below. I also added a couple of tweaks to this footage to make it pop and look better, and I'll break that down as well. But stick around to the end of this video because I will break down the second clip by the end of this video. My name is Christian, by the way. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let's go. First thing I always do when I color grade in Final Cut, if I'm not grading in DaVinci, I use this LUT, this or other LUTs that I've made to, you know, make the process easier for myself and for you guys as well. So you can download this LUT, link in the description below. Now I add this LUT, as you can see, it brings back some saturation, it brings back some contrast, but I'm not satisfied with it yet. And the reason why is because this is just a starting point to bring back some of the contrast and some of the saturation. Next thing I did was to add a color wheel. And as you can see here, I dragged down the overall exposure, I dragged down the shadows, up the highlights, and I dragged the midtones up a little bit. After that, I actually dragged up the saturation. Next thing I did was to add a hue and saturation curve. And the reason why I used this is to change specific colors in an image. And basically how this works is that if you add a control point here and there, you're basically changing the values that you see here. So for me, this is pretty nice because you add, you can change the colors totally. You can desaturate the image and you can end up with the results that you like the best. But in this case, I left it like this. And the next thing I added was a color wheel. As you can see, there's not much change. I just added a little bit more warmth and a little bit more saturation. Next thing I did was to add another hue and saturation curve. And here, as you can see, I changed the hues of the blues a little bit and I changed the hues of the yellows a little bit more. So as you can see, this is what I ended up with. And I basically added saturation also in the blues. As you can see, the sky here, and the next thing I did was to add a color curve. So here I lifted the shadows a little bit and I dragged up the midtones and highlights. And also I actually added a blue tint to the shadows of this image. So this is what I got after tweaking the color curves. So far we have this and it's actually looking pretty good. I could have actually just left it there, but I actually wanted to play a little bit more with it. So I added a mask here. And as you can see, I only dragged up a little bit of the overall exposure and a little bit of uh, saturation here to add more saturation to the car. And as you can see here, it actually, it works like a mask in Lightroom. It's basically just to draw more attention to the car. And uh, yeah, I really like this. The next thing I did was to add a color wheel. As you can see, this is the change of the color wheel. I just dragged down the overall exposure even more down because now that I added the mask, I wanted to bring it all back down a little bit to make it more moody and make the mask more effective. So I dragged this a little bit down and I dragged the highlights a little bit up and that's basically it. Uh, all right, next thing I did was to add a hue and saturation curve here. And as you can see, I added blues here. Uh, and the reason why is because I wanted to add blues in the sky. And I also wanted to bring down the yellows a little bit because I think it's too much yellowish tones here that I don't like. So let's see how this looks. Boom, now you can see the green is grasser. Uh, the grass is greener and the, the sky is a little bit more blue. Uh, so I like that. So the next thing I did was to add this right here because this takes more of the greenish tones of the image and you can't see it that much before, after. It's not so noticeable, but I it's a little, little subtle tweak that I liked. I could have just left it out, but yeah, I liked it. So next thing I did was to add another hue and saturation curve and I dragged up the hues here a little bit. Let's see what that did. Boom. Yeah. So the next thing I did was to add a color mask. And in this case, I used this color mask to add warmth to the whole image, but not the car itself. All right. So let's move on to the next clip. This is before and after my S log to RE conversion LUT. So I added a vignette and it's not so noticeable as you can see in the corners here is super subtle, but I like it and it works in the end. And I placed it here because I want it before every other adjustment. Now, next thing I did was to add a color curve. And as you can see here, I drag up the midtones and the highlights and I, I made this S curve to create a little bit of contrast. I dragged up the shadows a little bit and um, yeah. 
So you can see this is what I ended up with after using the color curves. And I dragged up a little bit of the blues in this image as well. Next thing I did was to add a color wheel. And here I dragged up the overall exposure. I dragged down the highlights a little bit and I actually added a little bit of saturation. So let's take a look at that. Boom, this is how it looks with only the color curves and the color wheels applied to the clip. Next thing I did was to add another hue and saturation curve. This is how it looks after applying that. And I just dragged this up a little bit to change the hues of the greens to a more warmer look. And uh, after that, I actually placed this color picker on the car to get the colors of the car as well. As you can see, this is how it was. And just to make it pop a little bit more, I dragged this up. So this is what I went with. Uh, as you can see here, the hue and the luma, I dragged up the red because that's the hues of the car, right? And um, I also brought down the lumas of the green here. So it's more moody and more nice. And uh, next thing I did was to add a color wheel with a mask on to actually bring down the exposure in the foreground to make the subject more important. I just added a color wheel here, add shape mask, a shape mask like this. Just wanted it a little bit darker, like so. And uh, yeah. That is basically it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, I would really appreciate it if you gave this video a like. And uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Make sure to check me out over at Instagram where I post when I'm not posting onto YouTube. With that being said, thank you so much for watching again guys. Have a great day.